even if we leave, Freddy can still get us. We all know about him, we're all afraid of him. It was our fear that gave him his power. And we're marked now. Then screw that clown. I mean, what kind of a pussy comes after you in your dreams, anyway? Now, that, that big-ass motherfucker back at the cornfield, all right? That's who we should be afraid of. Come here who the fuck that was. The name was Jason Voorhees. Uh, shit, man. Um, how'd you know we were here? Well, nothing personal, but the Scooby van out back wasn't exactly subtle. And never keep your keys in the door. Great, so now we're completely fucked. No, you're not. I'm here to help you. Now, this Jason Voorhees supposedly drowned at Camp Crystal Lake back in 1957 when he was 11 years old. Now, the counselors weren't watching him. Then they made the mistake of killing his mother. And the legend has it that Jason kept returning from his grave to punish whoever returned to the camp. I think we're dealing with a copycat here. No. No, 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 no. He's not a copycat. I've seen what he can do. He's the real Jason. That's impossible, Linderman. Jason is dead. Yeah, well, you better start thinking outside your little box, dude. Because somebody's definitely breaking the fucking reality rules, okay? It makes sense in a way. I mean, what if Freddy brought Jason back because he was too weak to go after us on his own, so he used Jason. I mean, he knew that, that we'd think it was him, that we'd spread the fear again, and now that it's working, it's like he can't shut Jason back down. Thank <laughs> you.